Hi, my friends. How are you? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, I'm so glad you're here. Please take a moment to subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope by the end of this video, you will like and comment. And if you haven't subscribed, you'll just go right ahead and do that. We have lots and lots of fun around here. Now, this is group play Thursday here. But the thing is, I want to have a little um, story time with you. So in my last few videos, I had stated that I was going on a work trip. Well, it was an ordeal, and let me just tell you, it was crazy. So here's the story. It's a little long. I'll try to hurry it along. So I get up Monday morning, and I start getting ready. Everything's going fine. I decide um, the way my house is is I have a basement, and so there's this huge, long um, staircase, and I thought instead of going down that, going through the basement maze and everything else to get to my car i'll just pull my car around to the front of the house and go down the small porch stairs so i set my stuff out on the front porch to go back in and i see something that i forgot so i step back out on the porch to put um, my pillow out there there is the biggest wasp nest known to man in my door and by me going outside disturbed them and they got really really mad and they stung me like 10 15 times this is the one on my hand and it is like a hole in my hand and it just is so aggravating my hands got all swollen so i go back in i put some stuff on it and it's not going down and i need to leave so I know that the only thing that's going to get it to go down is some Benadryl. Well, I take a Benadryl every day. And so I took two, which was a mistake because I got very, very sleepy on the drive to Montgomery. Well, anyways, back up. I finally get everything in the car. I'm, I'm off to Montgomery. And something tells me um, about 30 minutes into the trip, you know, go back, look at your paperwork just to make sure you have everything in your mind. So I look and I realize that I misread it and I thought the class started at um, 1030 and in fact it started at 10 and I was going to be like 10, 15 minutes late and I, I do not like to be late. Well, I get my uh, co-worker to email them and let them know that I'm on my way and that I'm sorry and so forth and so on. So here I am driving along, getting very, very sleepy, knowing that, you know, I don't have time to stop to get any breakfast or anything like that. And I thought, okay, I'm about to fall asleep. I'm going to have a wreck. So I thought, okay, I'll just stop and I'll get me a soda and that should wake me up. I reach into my bag and I realize no wallet, no cards, no cash, no wallet, no driver's license, no insurance cards, nothing. I left my wallet at home and I'm just like freaking out. So I'm calling my daughter, get up, get up. I need you to, you know, take pictures of my cards, my license, all that stuff, send them to me. So if I get stopped, I will at least have that. So, you know, this, this day is already, it's not even 9 o'clock in the morning and it's already shot. So, I finally make it down there and I go in to sign in because you have to sign in with security to get my credentials. They don't have my name on the list. I'm like, why is my name not on the list? So, I tell them I'm here for auto school and so they do some calling around. They changed the date of auto school and my district manager didn't tell me so here i have gone through all that got down there for nothing and so they apologize you know my district manager apologizes you know she says we'll pay you for the whole day we'll reimburse you 
you know, for your mileage, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm just like, fine. And, <laughs> and I'm just like starving. I'm tired. My hand hurts. My other body parts hurt that got stung. And I'm just I was like, I'm over it. Well, I get in the car and I start heading back and I'm just like really, really hungry. And I remembered that some guys at work was telling it, telling me about this Chick-fil-A app and that you can play this game and, re and win free food. <laughs> so I pull off into a parking lot and I'm over there playing that darn chicken game. And I finally got enough to where I could get a cookie and some waffle fries. And so I place the order on the app. I go over there. They can't find my order. I'm like, seriously? And so I have to show them. Then I have to wait. I'm just, I'm over it. I'm over the whole day. And I'm just like, done. So finally, I get my food. So I eat it, and it's the best daggum food ever. And so I start heading back, and then I start getting sleepy again. And I have to go to the bathroom, so I thought, okay, I'm going to stop at a restaurant at Cracker Barrel, and I will, they had this, like, shop there, and so I thought, well, I won't look like an idiot just walking around, and I'll just act like I'm shopping. And so I go use the restroom, and then I go walk around, and then my daughter calls and says, all upset that, because her schedule's not fixed the way she was hoping it would be fixed. So then I have to get on the phone with the guidance counselor. And so I'm fighting with her over the schedule. And so finally, after all that, I finally get home, go to the grocery store because, you know, why not? <laughs> and finally get to come home. And I was just like, done. I was over it. So that, my friends, was my story that I wanted to share with y'all. It's a crazy story. And you want to know what's even crazier? Is on Monday, I have to do it again. But you can bet your bottom dollar that I will have my wallet. I will not go on the front porch. I will pack me a breakfast. And I will verify, triple verify, that Monday is when it starts. <laughs> so, needless to say, it was interesting. So... I had a couple of you ask me if I had a safe trip and whatnot. And so I thought, I'm going to share this with y'all because you'll get a kick out of it. So anyways, I'm sorry that was so drawn out, but, you know, I couldn't make that up if I tried. So today is group play and um, I'm excited. It's our last day on our Winnie the Pooh and I'm going to have a new bingo um, set up for a new group play and um as soon as i finish designing it and getting it all squared away i will make sure that i put it out there on the google drive and i'll let you know when it's there and um we're going to have more game cards that way you can pick and choose if you want to you won't have to do the exact same numbers as me you can save more you can save less it's going to be fun so you'll have several different game cards to pick from and we'll still play bingo like you normally would play bingo. But that way, you know, you might get, you know, save more money. You might save less money. But either way, you can you can pick and choose. So it's going to be fun. So I hope y'all will join me for another group play. And um, we'll see what we can come up with. Because this one's going to be a little bit different. But it is still bingo. But it's going to be um, a different theme and um more game cards so i hope you'll join me so let's see today we're working with 20 40 50 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 60 dollars for our group play so hopefully i can make change and we normally start with our scratches so let's do that this one right here is from Elaine Willis, and we're going to, this is through, let's see, July and August. So we're going to finish this one up in August, and I think this one will finish up in August as well. So that will be 
nice to have those to add to our tally for the month. So let's see. Let's get our scratching tool and we will do one. Let's do, hmm, let's do this one. All right, looks like we're going to save $5 today. All right, let's see. So, let's, we're going to take a 10 and we'll put a 5 back. Okay, so we have 10, 20, 5, $26 saved so far, and I think we'll just go ahead and switch this out. Then that way we don't have to come back to it. Okay, so $26 saved so far, and Woods from Elaine realized. And everyone will be linked below, and I hope you'll go and check out these wonderful channels because they are awesome. All right, and this one's from my friend Ellie on Earth. And it's her little bathing suit, vintage bathing suit challenge. So let's see. Let's do this one up here. Looks like we're going to save $4 today. I think that thing might be full. <laughs> All right, so we're going to save $4. So we're going to take this five and put back a one and we're going to go ahead and change out this and that way we got rid of the the 20s at least all right so we have 25 26 27 28 29 dollars saved so far this one looks like it's going to be saving us quite a bit so we only have three more weeks on these It'll go by before we know it. Um, I think we're going to go ahead, since it's right here, we're going to go ahead and do our Winnie the Pooh. And, I mean, there's really no point in doing this, but we're going to do it anyways because, you know, why not? <laughs> so we're going to just go ahead and color these, and we'll be able to do some rolling on these, these last three right here today because we're going to finish up all these because this is the last week. I had only planned this for, you know, um, five weeks. And so we're going to do that. Um, and then we'll start a new one next week. So let me get my marker here. We're going to go ahead and color these in. So we've got our I2. I just want to make sure so we've got two, and then two more, so that's four, and six, and five is 11. All right, so we got our bingos, and that was fun, and when I put this together, it was very quick put together. So I only did the one card. So I've got bigger plans for the next one, like I had said earlier. So we owe this one $11, right? Let's see. So 10 and 11. Okay. And then we're going to roll the dice and see how much extra we're going to save. And I think, let's see. We're just doing this one. So we've got a one. Oops, I don't think I can write with that. So plus one. And we'll roll again. Six. So plus six. Okay, we'll put that back. And then one more time. Two. So plus two. All right. So we finished this one. Yay. All right. Let me color these letters in. Then we'll count up and see how much we saved. 
I hope y'all enjoyed this group play, and I know you're going to enjoy the next one, or at least I hope you will. So let's see. Let me get this in order. Okay. All right, so we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. We saved $88. Is that not awesome? $88. Now, if you didn't do like what I did, then you didn't you didn't save that much. But let's see. Minus three, one, two, six, and two. So you would have saved 74, which is nothing to laugh at. So I am so excited about that. So let's see. Let's kind of condense this. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. All right. Okay. So we'll take these and put them here. Thirty, forty, fifty. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 86, 87, 80. Okay. Let's see. Let's, um, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's do 10 here. That way, some of the bulk is just in this envelope here. Okay. So, we'll put... What am I doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> had, I had a moment. All right. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 80. Okay. 88. All right. So we're going to put all this in here and we're going to make a note. That we saved, or I saved, 88 was what I saved. And y'all comment below and let me know if you saved the regular amount, the same amount that I did, or if you rolled your own dice. I would love to know what all y'all saved. So we're going to put this in our folder. So that was fun. I enjoyed that. I hope y'all did too. Okay, and we're just going to put this in here too. Keep it all together. Okay, so we got that done. Awesome. All right, now we're going to do our Save with Judy challenge. We're doing our little scuba gnome. And she saved... I think it was $15. I wrote it down somewhere, and if I'm mistaken, it, you know, I, I know it wasn't over $15, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So, so one, two, three, four, and five. So there's our 15 right there. So let's go ahead and we're going to color our gnome. Let's see. We're going to do us a cute little sand dollar. I hope y'all are having a, a good week. Mine started out pretty bad, but ended up being so far so good. Can't complain. All right, let's see. What color hat do we want him to have? Um, let's do a blue hat. Miss Judy's been playing this with her granddaughter. 
her name is Alex, and, you know, that's my son's name. And so every time she talks about Alex, it just makes my makes me have a smile on my face because, you know, she's talking about her baby and I'm talking about mine. Okay. Now, let's see here. I see. I'm thinking that I'm going to say that's part of his beard, I guess. Okay, we're going to do a gray beard. Sorry, I got so engrossed in coloring that I realized, hey, wait a minute, I'm not talking. <laughs> well, in a moment, I was just getting into it, wasn't I? I'm going to go ahead and color this part gray, his little mustache. Okay, let's see. Now, let's go ahead and we'll do our nose. And I'm going to say that this right here is going to be his face, too. And his little hands. Okay, and then we're going to do a hot pink bottom just because we can gotta give him a little color he needs some brightness okay okay and then let's see let's do a we're gonna do a hmm I'm going to do this yellow scuba mask. Okay. We got our yellow scuba mask. And then we're going to gonna do that yellow as well. And we're going to do kind of a warm gray inside this cut make it look foggy there we go yeah he turned out cute all right so we have our 510 yes we got that so let's get our envelope out And let's see how much we have saved so far. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, and 75. It's a nice little amount. Okay, so we've got that one done. And our last game is Plinko from Gentle Charm Budgets. So let's see. We need... A playing piece and we need a die and we've got one let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen so we should be able to play a couple of rounds so we're going to roll right here actually we're going to get our dice tower so we can roll all right, 
So we're going to roll to see where we start. So we're going to start at six. Another six. Four. Three. One. And a three. All right, so we're going to go right down here and put a three. Let's see if I can find where I put that. Okay, so we're going to put a three right here. Now, I'm not playing it the way she played it, like where we see what she rolls and what I roll, because I started way after she started. So when she starts a new one, hopefully I will see that and we can do it together if not no big deal we'll just keep on a playing all right so we owe this three dollars one two and three okay and you know what we we need to put a dollar in our ding 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 challenge because we finished bingo okay now we're going to roll again and start again so we're going to start on two and two three and four two and two Ooh, six this time okay so we're just going to take one um it doesn't really matter at this point one, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, it's getting down to the wire now. All right, here we go. Two. Two. And four. Two. Four. And three. So three more. So I'm just going to put it right here. One, two, three. All right. We've got three dollars left. Let's hope that we can do this without an IOU. Here we go. Six. Six again. Five. Three. I'm getting close. Um, let's just roll again. One. Four. Four dollars. Look at that, guys. Ah. You know what? Taking it out of the ding, ding, ding challenge. I'm putting it back. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think I have a dollar. So I'll put it back. Let's see here. All right, I'm putting it back. Being a good girl. All right, so that's awesome. We saved $16 in this challenge today, so I needed to put down a four, didn't I? All right. So let's see how much we've got saved in Plinko. Plinko party so far. All right, so we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47 dollars. So that is awesome. All right, guys, that does it. We did it. Now listen, I, um, hope that you saw in one of my videos where who i was watching you know I, I pick each week or you know as long as it takes for me to do the uh their playlist anyways so um i hope you will check her out she will be linked below and um let's see it's called she can budget 1170 i believe is correct it will be linked below and she is just a sweetheart. I've been enjoying her channel. So 
um, I've been watching and um, I don't comment on every video but I do uh, watch all the videos like them heart them whatever you know so I hope that you will be sure to check her out she's really sweet and I think y'all would enjoy her and um, I have a new something coming up so I'm excited about that and you'll see it soon and um, I'm just having a really good start to August. I have a feeling that we're going to get quite a few things um, finished up, which is nice because I really want to start in, you know, on my Halloween and I want to, you know, do more on Christmas and whatnot, but I'm excited to start some Halloween challenges and I've got to get my Halloween binder together. I've got a few, but I, I don't have a whole lot. I've got a few that's in my head that I want to design. And then I've seen a few in some of uh, people's stores that I thought would be cute to showcase in, um, in a video. So I'm excited about that. So I hope you will come back. I hope you will subscribe. I thought I was going to sneeze. Sorry. I thought, I hope you will subscribe, like, and comment. All your likes does me so much good because it gets me out in the algorithm. And I do appreciate that. I appreciate you so much. I will see y'all in the next one. I love you. Bye. See you later.